Burger, well done. Tomorrow, Shake Shack has given away vouchers for Phillies games. That happens in the morning. Meanwhile, the team is trying to satisfy the city's appetite for winter. Yesterday, the Phils worked out at Citizens Bank Park. Now, tomorrow, the games finally count. They'll take on the Atlanta Braves, and thanks to some great off-season moves, you can expect a steady lineup. When you have the type of personnel that allows you to make less in-game moves, it's it's a uh, it's kind of a blessing, you know. It's a uh, it's a confidence builder. So we have a lineup, and we have personnel now who it's not going to require a whole lot of mixing and matching. I think you guys are going to see a more consistent lineup. Um, look, our first baseman is going to play every day. Our second baseman is going to play every day. Our shortstop is going to play every day. We can kind of go around the diamond, and you see a, a lot of those guys. Gabe got that good tan going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what happens? He's been like, what, 42 days down in Clearwater, Florida? <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, tomorrow, uh, CBS3 has you covered for opening day. Pat Gallen and Katie Failinger will kick off our coverage in the morning. Then from noon through 6 p.m., Leslie Van Arsdal, Victoria Whittle, Tori, uh, and Dan Koob will join me at Citizens Bank Ballpark for complete coverage of the Phillies season opener, mm. which happens.